as they spread out away the probability. When they do that, they can begin to see the effect of the future on the present. So, we have the red boxes that are going forward in time, and now you have to think about the backward evolving state. So, we're going to represent that by blue boxes. Same particle, right? We have one particle, but coming from the future, we're saying the present is created out of a combination of the forward evolving and the backward evolving. As radical as it sounds, Jeff, Yakia, and their colleagues have now tested this idea in the lab. They give a series of very gentle magnetic nudges to subatomic particles. They measure them at 2 o'clock and then at 2.30. They do this over and over again. Some, but not all, of the particles are also measured again at 3 o'clock. And what they found is that taking the measurement at 3 o'clock seemed to influence the apparently random readings they got at 2.30. The future seemed to affect the present, even though it hadn't happened yet. If you're trying to understand the present moment, the past is relevant as we knew before, but the future is just as relevant to the present as the past. 